so in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you how you can work from home as an ESL teacher. I have seen so many people posting on social media about how they're temporarily unemployed or how they're unsure of their financial future because of the coronavirus outbreak. So I'm gonna be doing my part and posting more work from home videos because I wanna do whatever I can to help support your financial future and help make sure that you and your family are all safe and taken care of. So today I'm gonna to be teaching you how you can start working from home as an ESL teacher. This is a great job if you're sick of the regular nine to five life, if you're looking to spend more time with your family or you're looking to learn more about different cultures. I think that this is a really fun and exciting job. If you're looking to spice your life up a little bit, did you know that there are 1.5 billion people in the entire world that speak English? But the number that really surprised me was that there were less than 1% of public education teachers that are teaching ESL. China, South Korea, Japan, Vietnam, Taiwan, the United States, and Canada are the six countries with the highest demand to learn English in the entire world. The demand for people who are interested in learning the English language has continued to grow around the world. And what's so amazing about becoming a work from home ESL teacher is that you can teach people and students who are interested in learning this new language all online. You don't have to travel. You can do everything from the comfort of your own home. If you're sitting here and you're wondering what exactly ESL is, ESL stands for English as a Second Language, and it's a type of program that, that involves you teaching the English language to somebody whose primary or native language is not English. As an ESL teacher, you'll teach the fundamentals of the English language, you'll teach speaking, you'll teach writing, you'll teach spelling, and you'll teach grammar. There are advanced ESL classes that are available that really go into the depth of the proper way to perform English grammar. But there are also classes that are available that kind of teach more conventional English. Like example, there are classes that will really focus on the writing aspect of the English language. Well, there are other English classes that will focus on kind of normal everyday conversations. The class size that you will teach to will depend on the company that you work for and the rates that you have set, but there are some classes where you will teach to a large group of people and there will also be options available where you can teach English to another person one-on-one. -on -one. If you're wondering what type of certification or experience you'll need to teach ESL, there are some ESL jobs out there that don't require a certification or even a degree to start teaching English online. While there are some companies that may require or prefer some type of degree or certification, that really depends on the company that you're working for. There are some companies out there that would prefer if you were bilingual. That's because it makes it easier for you to be able to communicate with them in their native language while you're teaching them English. Again, depending on the company that you're working for, it isn't required for you to have a degree. However, some companies that will offer a higher rate will require for you to have a bachelor's degree in English or another type of equivalent degree. There is the option for you to become ESL certified. This can be done so online. One example of a certification that you can get is the TEFL certification. The pricing for the certification will greatly vary from about $150 to $2,000 in cost for the certification. The only really requirements that you have to worry about when becoming an ESL teacher is that English is your native language. There are some jobs that will prefer to hire somebody who has an accent over other types of candidates. For example, if you are a native British English speaker, you may not be preferred over somebody who has a North American accent. And that's mainly because these companies believe that somebody who has an American accent is a lot easier to understand than somebody who has a British accent. Not all American accents are ideal for teaching ESL. For example, a company may not hire you if you are somebody who has a very heavy Southern accent. And this is mainly because it's difficult for somebody who doesn't speak English to understand what you're saying. The amount of money you earn it greatly depends on any degrees that you have, the experience that you have, and whether you're working for a company or if you have your own business. Some ESL positions will start off at $10 an hour and can go all the way up to $20 an hour. If you have your own ESL teaching business, you can charge whatever rate that you would like to charge. So the amount that you're making teaching ESL will greatly vary depending on who you're working for and your experience. If you're interested in starting your work from a home journey teaching ESL, there are a couple of different websites that I would recommend you check out and or apply to. Before I mention any of the companies, I will let you know that I will be leaving a link to all of their websites down below in the description box if you're interested in checking anything out. So that makes it a little bit easier for you to navigate. The first company that I would recommend you check out is Say ABC. 
A lot of teachers enjoy say ABC because their rates are so high and because they're so easy to work with in terms of you creating and setting your own schedule. The average teacher who works for say ABC earns $20 per class. Class sizes will vary up to four children and you will be teaching children from ages five to 12. Say ABC prefers if you prepare your own lesson plan and curriculum and they do prefer people who have a degree, but you do have to have a TEFL certification. While native English speakers are preferred, if you are a non-native English speaker, but you have a strong grasp on the English language, they will consider you for application. The second company is QKid. Q Kids is a popular platform that teaches Chinese children the English language. The age range for children on this application is from 4 to 12 years old. Some of the tools that you'll be using to teach English to the children on the platform are stories, interactive games, and animated characters. If you're completely new to the world of teaching and you're interested in just kind of like getting started and not really sure where to get started, QKids is great because they provide their own lesson plan. So it's really great if you're a beginner. QKids does hire professional teachers, but they also hire stay-at-home parents and college students. You do have to be a Canadian-based or United States-based English speaker. And they don't require a degree, but they do prefer if you have a TEFL certification. The next platform that I would recommend you checking out is Palfish. Palfish is a platform that allows you to teach English to people of all ages and not just children. You have the option of either providing whole group lessons or just one-on-one -on -one teaching sessions on the Palfish application. Palfish also allows you to choose your own rates. They do recommend that you set a higher rate for teaching a group setting. And as you gain more experience, you can continue to increase your rate. Palfish is another really beginner friendly um, option because they don't require you to have a certification. They don't require you to have a degree. You just have to know the English language. The next option is Cambly. Cambly isn't a teaching platform, but it is a platform that's used to have conversations with ESL students. You'll be having conversations with ESL students so you can help them to improve upon their current conversational skills. Cambly doesn't require any experience. All you need is a strong internet connection and a device that you can use to get online with. You'll be talking with students all over the world and most of the people that you'll be interacting with are adults. Cambly tracks all of your calls and you'll be paid per call and the average call pays out ten dollars and the last one for today is amazing talker amazing talker actually hires for all languages not just english and even better is you don't have to have a degree to work for amazing talker when you are hired on with amazing talker you'll be matched with a student for a trial your trial will last around 25 minutes and after the trial is over, you'll be able to set your own rates for 50 minute private classes. While Amazing Talker doesn't provide a lesson plan, they do offer a lot of amazing sources to help you strengthen your teaching skills. This is especially helpful if you don't have any teaching experience. While you don't have to have a degree to teach English, they do require a TEFL certification. So that is everything you need to know about how to start working from home as an ESL teacher. What did you guys think of this video? What other work from home videos would you like me to cover on my channel? I can't wait to hear what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video.